Welcome, amazing friends, and let's solve this math olympiad exponential equation together. I tell you, it's very simple, okay? Now, to do this, we are going to remind ourselves of some tips and which are some of the rules of this exponent, which says that if you have a to the power of m, multiply a to the power of n. It gives you a to the power of m plus n, okay? Now, let's see how useful this can be to us. To answer this, we are going to begin with solution. Now, what do you do? We bring this down, we are going to have 4 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to, for this, we can apply this, okay? Let's make this to be like this. So, it's going to give us 10 to the power of x. Then, this addition will now turn to multiplication. So, we're going to use dots to represent it, okay? Then, we now have 10 raised to the power of 1. So that if you apply this, you are going to add the powers. And when you add it, it gives you this. You just say that. Now, what do you do again? At this point, you can now choose to divide, okay? You can choose to divide with this term. You can also choose to divide with this term, okay? Whichever one you are using, you are going to get the same result. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this one to divide. So we are going to use this to divide each of these terms. To do that, we are going to have 4 raised to the power of x all over 4 raised to the power of x plus, then divide this by 4 raised to the power of x. Also do same here. We have 10 to the power of x raised to the power of 10 to the power of 1 divided by this. Amazing. Now, what do you think we should do here? You can think. So what to do here is we are going to now have, you know, when you divide the number by itself, it is 1. So here, this will give us 1. So this is giving us 1 plus. Now, what do you think we should do here? Let me remind you again that if you have a to the power of m over, let's say we have b to the power of m, what do you observe? You observe that the two are raised to the same power. So when you have such in indices, it is a over b, then raised to the power of one of the powers. Did you see that? This and this are the same. So you think we can apply it here? Yes. So to do that, we are going to have 25 all over 4 raised to the power of x. Did you see it? It's equal to... Now, what do you do here? Remember that if you have 2 multiplied by 1 all over 3, just simple arithmetics, this is the same as having it as 2 over 3 multiplied by 1. It's still the same thing because when you do this, it gives you the same result. So if you borrow this concept here, we are going to have for this is still giving us 10 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x, then multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. You just see that we have not changed anything. So at this point, we are going to now have, now putting all these two together, we are going to have 1 plus, this will now give us, you have, you notice that to simplify this in the brackets, there is no number that can cancel out. So, but you know that 25 is a perfect square as well as 4. So, what it means is that if I multiply 5 two times, it will give me 25. That is what we meant by perfect square. And if I multiply 2 by 2, it gives me 4, okay? So, for 25, we can say it is 5 raised to the power 2. Then for 4, we can say it's 2 raised to the power of 2 then all are raised to the power of this x. Amazing. Is equal to... Now, for this, what do you do? Just obey this rule also. So we're going to have 10 over 4 raised to the power of x, okay? Then multiply by... Note that anytime you raise a number to the power of 1, it gives you back that number. So this is still going to give us 10. Now, what do you do here? We're going to now have 1 plus... So this gives us 5 to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power x is equal to. Now you notice that something can divide these two. And what is that number? The number is what? 2. 2 can divide 10 to give us 5 and 2 can divide to give us 2. So we are having 5 over 2 raised to the power of x then multiplied by 10. I hope you are noticing something now. Something is happening here. Now, what do you do again? Now, let me remind you again. Let me remind you of something. And what is that I want to remind you? Remember this also. Do you see this? 
we can make it to be in this form okay so we are going to have one plus five over two raised to the power of two then raised to the power of x you see this is the same as this okay then is equal to five over two raised to the power of x multiplied by 10 interesting now what happens let me show you something now let me remind you also of another rule of exponent which says that if i have a to the power of m raised to the power of n what does it mean it means you have a to the power of m and the power multiplies okay so here you see we have two powers here so they can multiply and also that it is also the same as a to the power of m then raised to the power of n did you see it all these are just talking about one thing so let's obey the last principle to use it here so we're going to now have one plus this will give us five over two raised to the power of x okay we are trying to switch the power did you see according to what we have here you can switch power and it's equal to five over two raised to power x then multiplied by 10. So what do you think we should do? You will now see that we are having 5 over 2 to the power of x here and is also here. So at this point, you are going to do something. And let me show you what you will do. So you can say, let's, let's, y. You can choose any variable, okay? I want to choose y. So let y be 5 over 2 raised to the power of x. So each time I see this, I'll replace with y. So this is going to give us 1 plus then here you see five this we now take the shape of y then you raise it to the power of this two is equal to you see this will take the shape of y then multiply by 10 and what did you observe is so forming something so we have y squared is equal to multiply this we have 10 y you now see that this is forming equation and what kind of equation is quadratic because the highest power of this y is 2 so make it look more beautiful in that case, we are going to have y square. We begin it followed by this. Remember, this is positive. So you are going to remove it. You subtract. So it's going to be negative 10 y. This one will still remain plus one because it's still at the left side and everything. When you remove this, it becomes zero. Did you see that? So this is the equation we have. Now, at this point, I'm going to show you how to solve this quadratic using the formula method. And the formula method is given as y is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so we need to identify the a b and c that we can plug into this uh, formula now remember the general quadratic equation which drew was this formula derived which says we have x is giving us we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero okay so when you compare this with this your a is the coefficient of your y square okay so it means here our a is going to be the coefficient here is one so one and your b is the coefficient of x so the coefficient of y here is negative 10. did you see how to get it your c is your constant so the constant without variable here is one okay so we're going to plug this into this formula and if you do that we are having y is equal to negative sign in the formula so you have to negate your b and your b is having a negative term please take notes okay then plus or minus square root of your b is still negative 10 so you have this minus 4 your a is 1 and your c is 1 all divided by 2 multiplied by a and our a is 1 amazing so what do you do again we simplify this this will give us positive 10 plus or minus square root of negative 10 squared is negative 10 times negative 10. And that will give us 100. Then if you multiply this, it gives you negative 4 all over. This will give us 2. So what you do is we are going to have y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of. If you subtract this, it gives you 96 all over 2. Now you are going to simplify this. Remember. 96 has a perfect square in it okay so we're going to factor it out to help us solve this to do that we are going to have y so we're going to have y is equal to 10 plus or minus the perfect square 96 is 16 so we have 16 and when you multiply 16 by 6 
it gives you 96 okay all over 2 so what you do here is we are going to now have y is equal to 10 plus or minus now we're going to get the square root of 16 and that will give us 4 so we're going to remove it from the root so we have 4 this will remain because it's not perfect so we have root 6 all over 2 now what do you do you are going to now have this is the same as 10 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 6 all over 2 and this can cancel out so we're going to have y is equal to 5 plus or minus this we cancel this to give us we have 2 root 6 so these are the values of y so we can split this value now to now have y as 5 then take the positive then 2 root 6 and y is equal to 5 take the negative value 2 root 6 so you see we have two values of y but remember the question is not on y it's on x but you have to remember that there was a place you made a statement that let your y be this. So let's recall it, okay? So we're going to recall. And in that case, we're having that when y is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6, what happens? We're going to now have 5 over 2 raised to power of x is equal to your y. And your y is 5 plus 2 root 6. So at this point, you need to take the log of both sides, okay, to help you find your x. And if you do that, you are going to have log of 5 over 2 raised to the power of x is equal to, then take the log of this. So we have 5 plus 2, so we have 5 plus 2 root 6, okay? Then what do you do? Remember the rule of log within, which says that if you have log of a to the power of x it is the same as this power will now multiply the log so it becomes x log a did you see it so if you apply it here this x will multiply so we're going to have x log 5 over 2 is equal to log of 5 plus 2 root 6. now what do you do again remember you are to get x so you are going to divide by the coefficient and this becomes equation. So we're dividing by log of 5 over 2. And you do same here, okay? And if you do that, we are going to have, this will not cancel out. So we are having left as x is equal to 5. So we're going to have log of 5 plus 2 root 6, divide it by log of 5 over 2. Now, if you kill this, what you need to do is to kill this into the calculator and if you do that you are going to have x as equal to 2.502 okay so we have gotten one value of x as this now we need to get the next value of x remember we said y is this and y is this so we have gotten from when y is this so let's get from when y is having this value when y is 5 minus 2 root 6 what do you do we are going to still have 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to do the same thing okay 5 minus 2 root 6 did you see it so in that case we are going to have we are now having take log of both sides like we did remember we are taking this value because when you simplify this it is going to give you a positive result please you have to take note note that if this value gives you a negative value it's not going to be a solution for y okay because there's no positive base that you can raise to a particular number to give you a negative so please take note that we are choosing it because it is going to give us a positive eh, result i hope this is clear so let's take log of both sides so we have log of 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log of 5 minus 2 root 6. now do same thing we are going to have x log 5 over 2 then is equal to log of 5 minus 2 root 6. So we divide by log of 5 over 2, just like we did here, okay? So if you divide, you are going to have it as, this we cancel. So x is going to give us, we are having x as negative 2.502, okay? So this is the second value of x. Remember, the first value we have is, x is equal to 2.502 so this become 
the two values of uh, x and i hope this helps you a lot let's know how much in the comment remember sharing this will help more people to learn this skill and see you in our next class bye, -bye.